Good morning, preps. Today, what we're going to be doing is playing a counting by tens game, which is very, very fun. Um, hopefully, you've had a look at Mrs. Ballard's previous videos and you've already had a practice counting by ten. So, if you follow along here, you'll be able to see what we need to do today. So, once you get this up on your screen, you need to click start. on start. And we're going to practice popping the balloons, counting by tens. 10, 20. Oh, what comes next? 10, 20, 30. Can you find 30? Oh, 30 has a 3. Is it that one? No, that one's got 31. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, 30, a 3 and a 0. Let's see what happens. Oh, you popped it, Miss Baxter. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40 is our next number. 40 has a four at the front. Hmm, could it be this one? So we're looking for a four and a zero. No, that one's got a one. Hmm. I think this yellow one. 40. Yay, Miss Baxter! <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40. What comes next? 60. <laughs> oh, oh. <Oops. laughs> Let's try it again. 10, 20, 30, 40. We're looking for 50. Could it be this one? Five and a zero. Yes. 50. All right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, what comes next? 60, I'm looking for, this is the only one that has a six. A six in and a zero, could that be 60? Hooray! 60. Great Look job. That. All right, well, Try the next I, think, level. I think you can go into a next level, but maybe we'll go over and show you what you can do after you finish the game. But I'm sure they can play it more, can't they, Miss Baxter? Could. So over here, we've got a game of Counting by Tens. Okay, let's start with our first one. Oh, this is the first one. This is our first one. Oh, this is our first one. So what you might need is you might need to get maybe your mum or dad or someone at home to write down the numbers from 10 to 100, or you might even be able to use yesterday's counting activity to help you. So our very first balloon, for counting by tens, we start with the number 10. Now when we write 10, it's a one and a zero like that. 10, so I'm gonna double check. Then next balloon, if I look at my number line here, the next number, can you tell me what that is? I reckon they know. Is it tootie? <laughs> Do we say tootie? Uh, or... It's got a two and a zero. Hmm. Twenty. That's what it is. So I've got a two and a zero. Then next number... It's not 3T. What could it be? <laughs> it's got a 3, but we call it 30. Can you say that? 30. 30. We've got a 3 and a 0 to make 30. Our next number across is 40. If you notice, all of these numbers end in T. 40. So I'm going to write a four here and a zero. Our next number is 50, not 5T, 50. <laughs> so I'm going to draw a five and a zero. I'm noticing that all of these numbers have a zero. Mm, they do. That's that thing that we noticed in the caterpillar thing too, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I'm, I've lost where I'm up to. Let's go back and check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Here it is. It's got a 6 and a 0. 60. 
Move to our next one. 70. 7 and a 0. Our next one is 80. 8 and a 0. You see, I'm trying to go really, really carefully. After 80, we've got 90. So a 9 and a 0. And our lucky last balloon is 100. So remember, 100 is 1 and a 0. That says 10. We add one more 0 to make it extra big to make it to 100. Now, I've done my first line in grey lead. You might like to have a go again and again in grey lead. And then to practice your number writing, you might like to go over the top in rainbow writing in, in all different colours. But have a go at that one today. We hope you have fun on the game. It's very, very fun. So keep practicing your counting and we'll see you soon.